Hello there, thanks for tuning in. I'm particularly excited today because I've got a new filter media. This one is something special. Now before I show you what it is, I'll show you how it evolved. This media here is called Biohome Ultra. It's extremely porous media, pretty big, suitable for sumps, very big external filters, trickle towers, coy shower systems. It provides an awesome amount of space, both externally and internally, for bacterial colonization. Very receptive to bacteria. But when I first started selling this, I thought it's a little bit too big for a lot of the external filters used in aquariums. Therefore, I asked the guy that makes this for me if it was possible to make a media with this awesome porosity, same sort of texture, but smaller. He did just that, and that resulted in Biohome Mini Ultra. Now this stuff is getting rave reviews, just check the feedback on eBay. It's truly excellent stuff. It just sucks the water into it, which I'll demonstrate now. Here's some Biohome Mini Ultra. Just picked out the bag at random. There you go. Demonstrates just how porous that is. Actually, the the level of liquid in that cap has just about disappeared. It's sucked it all up. Yeah, it has sucked it up. That's the bottom. I'm gonna have to refill it. And that's oh Christ, it's all over my fingers. But that is just ultra porous. But it has the convenient size to fit in overhead filters, small externals, small internals. Basically any filter which has space for filter media can use Biohome Mini Ultra. And I'm talking about fresh water and marine. I tend to forget about marine because in my shop I only deal with fresh water fish and equipment. But this stuff apparently, by the feedback, it has all the benefits of live rock with none of the drawbacks. Not being into marine fish, I don't know what the drawbacks are with live rock, but apparently this has none of them. Now I got to thinking, is there a way to make this already awesome media even better? Now the makers of Biohome do a very small media, which is great for compact filters and overhead filters. It's called Biohome Plus, which is like a little hard stick. And it has added trace elements, so I asked if the Biohome Mini Ultra could possibly have those trace elements put into it. And after consultation with a chemist and a few failed attempts, this is the result. One thing we couldn't decide on is what to call it. Whether to call it Biohome Mini Ultra Plus, which is a bit of a mouthful, or Biohome Ultimate. And because I don't think you can get a better filter media, we went with ultimate. It really is the ultimate media. And here I'll demonstrate just how porous this one is. And this will be an interesting test. I haven't done a capillary test like this on this new media. I'm expecting it to be as good as the Biohome Mini Ultra, but with the added trace elements, I'm not sure it will be. So anything near that, and it'll be a good result. Again, just dipping the tip of it in. Oh yes. I would say that's pretty porous, so that's porous, it's got a massive surface area and it's got the trace elements, it's just unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. And that's sucked a hell of a lot into there, that's hellish, amazing. And now I'm going to have to wash my hands and the bench. And now we'll compare it to probably the main competitor which is Seachem Matrix. Right, here we've got some Seachem Matrix, straight out the tub. I'm only going to dip the very tip of the media in there and see how quickly it sucks it up. Give some idea of how porous it is. It's in there now. Come on. I'll just dunk it in. See if that makes a difference.
Yeah, I think it's, it's going up, but um, not very quickly. Christ, it's almost repelling the blooming die that. Bear in mind that, as far as I know, apart from the bio home range, there's no other medias that come with added trace elements. And those trace elements have been carefully picked because they are essential for bacterial colonization. Yes, you do get them eventually in your filter, but if you've already got them added in your media, it cuts the already quick setup time with the bio home medias down to just a matter of two or three weeks, which is absolutely phenomenal. It's I'm just so happy to have this media. It's just it's excellent, really excellent. And I've just started selling this on eBay. The link's below if you're watching this on YouTube. And also, I've got it on our website as well. So, it's more porous than the next best media. It's got the added trace elements. It's got a convenient size. And the surface area of this media is so phenomenally big because it's made of a very, very fine sand. Some people watching this are probably thinking this guy's just talking a load of balls. And on the subject of balls, this media, in fact all of the bio home media, is made up of tiny balls. Tiny balls of silica, sand. That sand is mixed with a binding agent and, in the case of this stuff, trace elements. It's pushed through an extruder, it's basically made into these little shapes. Then it's heat treated in a kiln, everything sticks together makes it a really hard media. All these tiny little balls stuck together create a ridiculously big available surface area. It's not just a rock with tunnels in and various shapes. It is a massive surface area. Now if you've already got filter media and you don't want to get rid of it, anything from the bio home range can be mixed in with your existing filter, whether it's ceramic or plastic. Actually, if it's plastic, you may as well just throw it away because there's next to no surface area on plastic media. Instead of upgrading your filter and getting the same crappy old media in it, upgrade the filter media. That is the best way to make your filter more efficient. This is the best media and it will make your filter as efficient as it possibly can be. Bear in mind that when external filters come from manufacturers, Invariably, they're set up wrong. If you check the link in the video description, I've done a video of how to set up an external filter. It's pretty simple, really. You need three grades of foam, coarse, medium, and fine, followed by your media. So the water goes through coarse, medium, fine. That strains out all of the particles in the water. Clean water then passes to your media. If you do it that way, it prevents this or any other media getting blocked up and it increases its life. This will last for years if you look after it, i.e. if you protect it from sludge and muck. Simply setting the foams up in your filter properly will protect it and you'll get years of use out of this. If you're interested in buying this, click the link below, I supply worldwide. I think I've got it listed in 500 grams, which is 1.1 pounds, a kilo, which is 2.2 pounds, 3 kilos, which is 6.6 .6 pounds, 5 kilos, which is 10.10 .10 pounds, and 10 kilo amounts, which is 22 pounds. Anybody who's wondering what a kilo of media looks like, because I'm aware that we really only use kilos in Europe and also in Australia and New Zealand, that is a kilo of media. And that takes up approximately 1.4 cubic litres of volume. If you're unsure how much you need for your filter, just send me the dimensions of the trays in your filter and I can work it out for you, no problem. One more thing that I really should mention, and it's not specific to bio home media, but it is specific to bacteria, is these little fellas. They are gel balls. And these balls contain live bacteria. I give these away with all of the media that I sell and it's pretty important because unlike liquid treatments which could have been sitting on the shelves for years in an anaerobic environment, you don't know whether the stuff's dead or alive, you dump it all in one go. These dissolve over a period of one to three weeks 
in your filter or in your tank or in a moving bed filter they're designed to move with your moving bed media they dissolve slowly so they release a measured dose of bacteria which is alive into your filter that means that your filter gets set up very efficiently and naturally you're not just dumping a load of dead bacteria into your tank from a liquid treatment these are awesome